not real sure what I'm going to have to do for. If I'm going to have to use bobbers in this spot or not. It's pretty deep out there. It was like 18, I think 18 foot. So hopefully the walleyes will be moving into those spots. And I think I'll, I'm going to turn off my locator. There's no, use, no sense using battery up right now. my dad's pull. That's why I think I didn't have any luck before when I went out left the first day. Because I usually have dad's pull with. And I didn't have it. something to see what the mosquitoes are going to be like out here. They're not too far from shore, so mosquitoes can usually get pretty bad. Having the sun right behind me is probably not the best for being able to see me, but you can see, kind of see the sunset. Bob run on Dad's pull. That way we can to cover our bases here. We'll throw one one minnow with the hook through the back with the bobber on it. And two off the bottom for right now. See what the it's always hard to tell what the bottom of the lake is is like. There's a lot of debris and things like that. This way, if I want to stand. Our boat turned again on us.
now we're getting set up now. The current's flowing this way. So it's a... Moving our bobbers and all of our lines towards us. Oh, I've got a bite. Got a bite. Got something going. Got one. A walleye. Nice walleye. I gotta get my other pulls out of the way. Yeah, nice walleye. Keeper. If you hope you're enjoying the video so far, please remember to hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. Plus, if you're not subscribed yet, please do that right now and hit that bell icon. You have a great rest of your day. Check this line again. Beautiful sky. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a second. Go back to this other line. We gotta work them pretty quick because of the current heavy feel is if it's gonna be a fish or if it's just a stick you're dragging through. Oh it's a fish. I thought it was a I thought it was a stick. Oh you didn't have it good enough. But it was a fish. Might have to try my anchors go on the side that usually makes it the sun is at my my back, which is nice for being able to see, but not for recording, because then all you see is a shadow of me, but I guess that's okay. So, yeah, it's not looking like anything's going after that bobber, so either Take the bobber off or try a different direction. Let's put this over that way. Different direction. See what it does. Let's get this bobber in the rest of the way. See if we can get it set to a new spot. And we're going to shallow it up a little bit, have it set pretty deep. And we'll just throw it closer to shore and see if something's moving in towards the shoreline. Okay, let's, let's throw this right over there, see what we can do. We used to have a pier off of that, there's a big rock over there. And we used to have a pier off there and we kept some pretty good fish off of that pier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Very good 
looks like. Nice walleye. Fourteen inches. Fourteen inch. Look at this. Another line back over here. They're coming in from there. We want to have our baits where they're where they're at. The, the limits here is uh, they have to be 15, at least 15 inches long. They can't be more than 20 inches long. So that slot, and then you can keep one over 24, and you can keep up to three. All right, we got one keeper. One little floating. That's one side of it. Alright, seen pretty much all the bones are out of that, so can't feel any. At least. Okay, well now I'll get this meat cleaned up. Well, unfortunately this video is over, but please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do have a lot of videos on my page, so please hit one of these links and check out one of the ones I have listed for you. You have a great rest of your day, and I will hope to talk to you in the comments.